Good morning, everyone. This is October 17th of 2021 Kids Chapel. Today we're going to be talking about Mark chapter 10, verses 35 through 45. And as always, let's start the morning with our candle prayer. I have our candle here. And this is a battery operated one, so I'm going to turn it on. It's kind of flickering a little bit. And let's stretch and take a deep breath and get ready for our prayer. You can hold your hands together. Again, there's no wrong way to pray. You can hold your hands together. Some people hold their hands out like this. Some do praise and hold their hands up. It's whatever you're truly comfortable with is how you should pray. And you can always switch it up too. Sometimes I'll pray like this or I'll put my hands together like I used to when I was a little kid. Um, you know, sometimes I might hold my hands together like this. You know, again, there's no wrong way to pray. <clears throat> so let's begin. Thank you, Jesus, for being here with us today, even though we cannot see you. Amen. So I wanted to sing a song. I have no music, and I will tell you that I'm not the best singer, but I don't think you have to be the best singer to sing praise to God. And this is called I See the Love of God, and it's from um, Sing with Joy, music of the Catechesis of the Good Shepherd. I found it in our nursery, and I just like the simple, simple lyrics to it. And I'll put the lyrics below. <clears throat> I see the love of God in you, the light of Christ come shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of God. I think that's so simple. I'll sing it one more time. I see the love of God in you, the light of Christ come shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of my, I'm sorry, O holy child of God. So that's called I See the Love of God. We'll try it next week, and I'll see if I can get Mr. Travis, my husband, to sing along with me. So our story today, again, from Mark chapter 10, verse 35 through 45, so Jesus' friends, let me put my candle up too. They're on our table behind us. Jesus' friends were having a whispering argument. Have you ever had that with your friends where you're walking in line or maybe with your sibling while your parents are ahead of you? They're just like whispering behind you. So they're having that type of argument where they're whispering back and forth. They were whispering things in each other's ear and, and Jesus, you know, could not hear what they were saying but he had a pretty good idea of what was going on. So when they got to the place they were going, he asked them, what were you guys arguing about? And they, they initially didn't want to tell Jesus what they were because, you know, they kind of felt what they were talking about was silly. And so Jesus was like, okay, I think you were trying to figure out who's the most important one, right? And they admitted to him that they were talking about that earlier. Jesus said that being important is not about where you sit or who you sit next to. You know, for us, it's important to help those around us, to serve others, and to serve the community in whatever way we can. So it's not necessarily there was one specific person in their group that was the most important of the disciples. Um, he was saying they were all important because they all can serve and help everyone around them. So how do we help Jesus and how do we help people within our community? Do you guys um, have like a younger brother or sister that you help maybe? Or um, does anyone have a pet at home that they take care of? Does anyone help their parents around the house? I know I've asked this question before with you guys in person. Like do you guys help put clothes away or dry the dishes or uh, sweep the floors, help pick up around stuff in the yard, toys in the yard or toys on the floor. 
You know, what about here at church? Do we have people here that help or in our community? So one activity you guys can do at home is you can draw pictures of people that you feel help uh, in your community. Maybe it's that teacher that helps you in the classroom or the school bus driver or a firefighter or a police person. Um, you could write, you could draw somebody from your family. Maybe it's your mom or your dad, your grandma or your grandpa or some grown up in your house. And I would like you guys to be on the lookout this week on how you can serve Jesus and how you can help others within your community. Maybe it's going out on the playground. Um, if you guys have like a buddy bench and sitting there on the buddy bench and trying to welcome someone you've never met before, saying hi to them. Maybe it's saying hi to someone here at church that you've never met. Um, Maybe it's opening that door. Um, if someone is hungry, sharing your lunch in the cafeteria. There's so many different ways that you can help out with people. And I wish you were here today and I could hear your guys' responses because I bet you would have a bunch of great answers. So that's what we can do this week is go out there and try and help others. And by helping others, we're serving Jesus. So let's say the Children's Creed. I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit too comes to tell me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and good, dear Lord, like thee. I'd like for our prayers of the people today, you can offer up silently or aloud at home who you'd like to pray for. Maybe it's a family member, a friend, someone you know within the community, um, and just know that God's always listening to your prayers. But I would like to say the prayer attributed to St. Francis, it's what we say every day, or every, I'm sorry, every Sunday when we conclude our service, right before we dismiss. And I like saying this prayer because it helps remind me on what I can do to serve Jesus. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. And we'll conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It was so great having everyone here today. I'd like to give an announcement to all of you that on October 30th, which is a Saturday, we're going to have a parish trip to the Little Rock Zoo. And it'll be on us to get you guys into the zoo. So since we're going as a group, we get a group discount. So far we have about 30 people attending, but we could take a lot more. And I've already reserved our spot to get in on Saturday at 10 a.m. You can meet here at the church and we could all caravan together or you can go ahead and travel ahead of us uh, and get there at 10, but we have to walk in together at 10. So if you wanna spread that to your parents or grown-ups in the house and tell them to watch this little bit of the video. All they need to do is to reach out to me and let me know that they want to attend. If they're under three years old, they're totally free to get in. And so it, you have to be three and up to pay. And that's the only number I need to know is, is how many of those are coming. Um, I look forward to seeing everyone next week. And I hope you have a beautiful week. And let me know how you have found or thought of ways that you could serve Jesus. Peace to everyone.